This is called Everything Was Beautiful and Everything Hurt. <laughs> My life has been like this struggle to get back to perfect Vonnegutness, and I've never made it, but here we go. It was before Galapagos, but after Dead Eye Dick, about 20 years after it was published, Nancy and Bob gave Cat's Cradle to me for my 13th birthday. The book was, as Vonnegut would say, the Cat Cat, what brought me into their caress. Nancy was a talented artist. She was friends with Bob. They were always in the art room. I was always in the art room because I was always given Jim. And that's how I became friends with Nancy and Bob, the other two punk rockers in the school. Bob got beat up at school and I got beat up at home and I don't know what happened to Nancy, but we all understood each other somehow. We were, as Vonnegut would say, a caress. In the next 10 years, Nancy would get married and have kids and disappear and Bob would become a born again Christian because he couldn't stand the fact that he was gay and I'd come out and be a guest on Jerry Springer, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> but anyway, this was before that when our, as Vonnegut would say, Sanukas began and this was in the summer that they taught me about Tiger Bomb and clove cigarettes and see the cat, see the cradle, would quote Vonnegut to each other on the way to hardcore shows, would drove too fast, yelling out the windows and went skinny dipping in reservoirs and the whole world that hated us went away. We were the fingers in a cast cradle working to do God's will. And then they left for college. And I was left alone. So I went to visit them. Nancy had a roommate named Spark who wore glitter. Bob had a new friend named Patrick who had a girlfriend named Rachel. And we all went out dancing and I wore Spark's glitter. And I smoked close cigarettes. I was 13 and I was the queen of clubland. I spun around with beautiful boys with names like Jet and Jab and drank Long Island iced teas until the room spun around with me. I was in the corner and everything was beautiful and my friends were beautiful and I decided I would run away and finish junior high and high school here and go to college here and somehow in the corner Patrick was kissing me and that was beautiful too. I was in my caress under Patrick's kiss until Rachel's, Rachel's yelling broke the spell. Everything broke. It was, as Monica would say, a pool pot. They sent me home on the next bus out. They never talked to me again. I called my mother and asked her to pick me up. I had no clothes and no friends back in a world that hated me. It was raining. The bus smelled like puke. My caress was gone. What else was there but the slow wait for death? It was, as Vonica would say, Zama Kibo. Now I destroyed the whole world. I stopped smoking clothes and switched to Marlboro's. I threw out everything that wasn't black and played everything louder. I bought my own damn glitter. I kept the brown again on my shelf and I cracked open naked lunch. <laughs>